Hey YouTube, just wanted to cover one quick thing. Uh, you know, we added the tilapia last week. Well, it's been about, oh, eight days, and um, our pH was 6.8 when we added them. But you can see now, just after one week, it's already down to around 6 to 6.1. Pretty uh, significant drop within one week time frame. What I'm going to do is add some rainwater, and uh, I may add just a little bit of hydrated lime to that rainwater to uh, bring up the base. And uh, I'll dilute that down and add it to the system and see if that doesn't slowly uh, bring it up. Over the course of this week, we'll just try to move it up uh, 0.2 every few days or so. All right, just wanted to uh, cover that. When you do add new fish to your system, it can uh, significantly lower your pH rather rapidly. So something to think about. Check your pH frequently when you first add additional fish to your system. YouTube, I'm going to do a quick uh, follow-up. I'm uh, going to retest the water after one week of adding the uh, eight pounds of tilapia. Uh, we've already noticed that the pH has dropped from 6.8 to about 6.1. Uh, so we're going to try to make some adjustments to get that back up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and test the water again and see what changes happen there. All right, you can quickly see the test results here. Uh, these are the nitrates. Uh, you can see we're still about it, maybe between zero and two. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. It might be as high as five. Still pretty low, about where it was when we tested initially. Our ammonia um, looks like it's at about 0.25, maybe just a little bit less like to get that back down to zero uh, need to get a lot more plants in here growing and our nitrite is still at zero so uh, so far those don't look too far out of uh, a line with what we're trying to do so we'll go ahead and make the adjustments to pH and I'm also hoping to find uh, on my net bags I'm going to add some oyster shell to the fish tanks and uh, try to go ahead and help the fish out a little bit and also lower the pH that alright guys it's been a few days we have uh, been making uh, slow adjustments to our pH and you can see now we're right at 6.6 .6. so I'll show you how we're making those adjustments and we're just kinda slowly creeping the pH back up to around 6.8 for the week um, you know, looks like it was down to 6.5. When you're doing the pH, you just kind of move this tester back and forth, and it'll slowly come down and stop decreasing. But, uh, let me see here. What we did was in our reserve... We increased the pH drastically in here with some hydrated lime. So if you look, we're doing about 11 in our uh, reserve tank. That's probably higher than I really needed to do. But I'll turn this valve on. And you can see we're going to add a few gallons to our uh, our reserve in our aquaponic system so we're running a uh, round I'd say a thousand gallons so we're only gonna add maybe uh, I don't know 20 30 gallons and that'll be diluted down so it'll raise the pH just a little bit and that's how we've raised it from 6 to uh, 6.5 6.6 .6, is we just slowly added um, 
a high base into the reserve. So it's not going directly to the fish. It's going to go to the underground tank. Then it's going to be pumped and circulated around. So um, we've not had any more fish deaths. Uh, everything's been looking pretty good. I just wanted to uh, follow up on uh, our other video that I covered the uh, the fish death and the raised pH I believe is going to be the issue on that one so I was able to figure that out and uh, also some of the pepper plants well mainly this one I may end up just pulling it really wasn't looking well and uh, I was trying to figure out what was going on so anyway um, check your pH frequently you see these pepper plants are looking a lot better I may just pull that one something's going on with it um, and I don't want it to spread so you see these already have little jalapenos starting there so these are fairly new plants so I'd imagine you know when we bought them they were about this tall and uh, it's been probably maybe three weeks now since we've got our roof replaced and and getting things going again so you can see um, it's slowly getting going but uh you know these plants were probably only this tall a few weeks ago so um it feels like it's slow but you look back and it's growing pretty fast even this herb garden's only a few weeks old old and um you know they weren't even half that big if you look in some of the other videos uh this stuff is really taken off and there's already strawberries on the the new transplant so you can see more strawberries around there so anyway things are looking pretty good i'll keep you updated and uh hopefully i have time to do some more uh seeding we're gonna do some testing of uh different lettuce what will grow in the warm weather so uh, stay tuned we'll do some testing of different varieties um, you know right now we've got the bib lettuce over here we've got a little kale over there uh, I did notice that the uh, bib lettuce over here is starting to uh, you can see how it's starting to get taller and that means it's trying to go to seed so we'll probably start uh, just pulling the leaves off and uh, refrigerating those and seeing if that'll take some of that summer bitter taste out of it. I've looked up several uh, types of spinach and lettuce to test, so we're going to try a few of those and uh, see what happens. Looks like the zucchini plant is uh, coming up here and uh, we put a squash seed in the other day and that's starting to come up as well. So. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. Have a good one. Alright guys, we uh, <clears throat> made another adjustment yesterday. We added more of that base from the rain reserve. And you can see now we're running right at 7.0. So um, I left it on a little longer than I planned to because I was shooting that video. Um, but as you can see... We adjusted it, I believe it was 6.5, and now we're about 6.9. So we were shooting for 6.8. I probably added uh, 30, 40 gallons to uh, the 1,000 gallon system. So I was probably, <laughs> well, I was planning to add about 20 gallons. So uh, obviously I added a little bit more, but it bumped it up uh, maybe 0.1 and a half on the pH more than I planned but uh, the fish are okay and looks like everything's gonna work out so anyway that's how you adjust your pH uh, you know it took us four or five days to get the pH back up uh, that's pretty steep we started about 6.1 and we slowly trickled up uh, over the course of this week so anyway guys that's uh, how you do it and from now on I'll probably keep a little closer eye on my pH and maybe add four or five gallons of the base uh, every few days. Um, that way, I just kind of keep it balanced. 
Yeah, that's better for the fish, better for the plants. All right, guys, good luck.